the sardines are here. Yeah. I'm basically going to show you what we've been using in the sardine run yeah. to catch all those big grey sharks and bronze whalers. Basically what we require is some uh, flotation, floater bait if possible. I've already got some pre-cut over here so I'm not going to open that one. Dangle, very important. That's basically what we're looking for, a lovely big dangle like that. Okay, two sardines. Now, what I'm going to do is just attach a bit of flotation to my dangle just to lift the bait up and it's very important what's happening is um, as the sardines are being netted and they're rolling around the sardines are cruising along just off the bottom and the sharks are coming along eating as they're going along so basically we need to lift our bait up very important okay. cut a nice piece of foam out Trim it down a bit. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Just a bit of our latex cotton as I'm doing it. <clears throat> the thicker side of what I've cut goes to the top and the thinner side to the bottom. For purposes of casting you want to try and make it as aerodynamic that the thin sides at the bottom where the sinker is and the thicker sides on the top. Okay. Cotton's giving me a bit of a hard time there. There we go. Just tying that off. Another piece. Now this is generally the thicker piece that we use. I'm just going to taper it down a bit. So all I've done is basically tapered it down. And again, the thinner side of the sardine, which will be the bottom side, will be on that side. The thicker side on the top will be that side there. And let's do it. Sorry, wrong way around. There we go. We just squeeze this uh, foam. It's very easy to work with. As you can see, I'm just squeezing it to form it the way that I want it to be done. Just compress it. There we go, there we go. Obviously working up to the thicker side of it. Cotton, 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 cotton. And lots of cotton. Oops, like the latex. Squeeze it down towards the bottom again, just the end part. <clears throat> and all of these you can actually make up before you go fishing. Keep five or six of them already pre-made. It just saves a lot of time on the rocks when it comes to fishing. So basically what you see here is a very thin piece at the bottom and a thicker piece towards the top. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy. And that part is basically going to go in there. Okay, so what we're doing that one to one side. We want the shiny side of the bait so I'm going to cut it off just behind the, the head. We're going to take this part because that's the shiny part of it. Like that. And again we're just laying it next to the bait. If you can see what I'm doing. Just about there okay and put cotton not too much just to hold it in place okay just going to tie it off slightly so that's basically the one step that we're doing. Now we need a big fleshy bait that we're going to turn inside out that we're going to cover this back part so you're getting a lot of shine in the water and you're getting a lot of smell so take it like so 
Okay, cut them straight off there. Take this part because this is where all the smell and the blood and the guts is. Like that. Take him, open him up. Like so. And we just, you can use a chocker hammer if you've got. It's actually a very good idea to do it. But the sardines are very, very fresh. You don't need to do it. So basically we're just doing that. So. Okay. Now we're taking our cotton again. And now we're wrapping it up. Just bring him down a bit. There he is. And there we go. Finish it off. Like so. And if you need a bigger bait, you can always just add pieces to the back and on the sides just to make the bait a lot bigger. Obviously our dangle is gonna go our uh, dangle hooks on there. And that's pretty much what the bait actually looked like that we were throwing. It's got a lot of flotation, so it's actually going to float up like that. You're going to get that silver shine coming off of it. And the sharks are going to hone straight in on it because of all that smell and blood that's coming off. That's one bait that we were very, very successful with. Especially in the clean water, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. When it got dark, we had to make it a lot smellier and bigger and bloodier. So all we did then, same bait, same everything. We just took our sardines split them down the center so let me just work this side split them down the center like that took a chocker hammer and actually beat this to make it nice and soft. I'm just using a knife here. Chocker hammer is definitely by far a better option. Okay. And all we did then was wrap it. To make a bigger, smellier bait. That we could leave in the water long enough that the shad and the peckers would not get to. This one a bit better. And we put a lot of cotton on it, latex cotton, so that it actually pulled tighter and squashed more of the blood out. Okay, so that's basically what the, the bait looked like that we were throwing at night time. You could add a little bit more to make it a lot rounder, more fleshy as well. But that's pretty much what the bait looked like. 
I'm just going to finish this one off. I just need another side in. Put that away. To make it bigger, all we did was add cutlets to it. Especially if you want a nice round bomb bait. And there's basically a bigger, rounder bomb bait that we were using. Okay, a lot of smell, a lot of flavor coming out of it, blood oozing out of it. That's basically the baits that we were throwing for those big fish. Simple as that. And that was for night time. Three sardines, all on one trace. And if you want to see how the trace is made, you can look in our previous episodes for our FMJs that we did for the sardine run. But that's basically it there.